Welcome to HP Tuners for Gen 2 Coyote Training Part 44. This training module we're going to be exploring shift scheduling in our automatic transmission control. Without further wait, let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at working with our shift scheduling on our 6R80 automatic transmissions for our Gen 2 Ford Coyote applications. This is going to allow us to control our upshifts and downshifts relative to our throttle input and various different driving modes. So we have the ability to control all of this. We're going to dig into how this works, both at part throttle cruise type of conditions and at wide open throttle. There's some definitely things we need to know. We're going to be using our Excel spreadsheet, have a calculator set up so you can actually translate the table that's going to be an output shaft speed into engine speed, making it a little bit easier to understand and for programming purposes. Let's jump in here and take a look at what we're going to be working with for our shift scheduling. So we're going to go up here. I have the calibration file open that we were actually, uh, this is the calibration file from Flex Fuel Tuning Tutorial. So everything has been dialed in on the car at this point, and now we're going to be focusing on actually going in and making our changes into the transmission control side of things. So first things first, I'm going to go into our Trans tab. Under General here, I do need to make some updates and some changes. I have my rev limiter set at 7400 for this particular vehicle. I have a stock intake manifold, so I don't need to really rev it and have any benefit going any higher than that. Now what I need to do here is jump into my limits under general and just do some quick updates. I'm going to raise all of my limits that could be a potential rev limiter to 8000. Now if I was running the template applicator basics type of uh, changes, we have a file there, there's the basics, this would have updated all of this already, but I'm just going to manually do it here while we're talking about it. Our drive shaft protection here, we're going to go to calibration, and we're going to also set this up pretty high here so we get this out of the way. I actually don't want to have that at 90,000, I want to have this at 9,000, so let's go ahead and just set this out at 9,000. What this is going to do is use our calibrated values that we have here rather than whatever's stored in the transmission control module for our shaft speed protection. So we're going to go ahead and raise all of this up. Now, I haven't changed my gear ratios. I don't need to do anything changing out anything in my configuration settings here. Under the display, since I do have um, a Mustang I'm sitting in here I'm using for our filming, I can display my gearing here on the dash. I actually want to take a look at that. So drive and sport, I'm going to put a value here of one so it displays on my actual dash. I can see the status of that. Um, go ahead and just turn that on here. And everything else here should be good. So let's just move from our general tab as we're just prepping our file into our shift scheduling. Now under shift scheduling, the main focus of what we're going to be looking at here is going to be in our shift map. Our shift map is going to allow us to command our upshifts and downshifts relative to our mode that we're in here. So we have all these different various modes and our throttle angle that we're driving at. So the actual pedal position in the car, where we're putting our foot on in the actual pedal. Now, let's break this down of how this is actually going to work, and then we'll move our way through the other miscellaneous tables that we have to deal with here. And we don't really have to change a whole lot, but let's take a look. Under our base table, the base table is our base or normal driving mode. Again, these are the different modes that we have here. We can see pedal position here is on the left. We find it's between 0 and 14. Now, what this is going to do is take a look at our upshift pedal and downshift pedal mapping. So if we open up our upshift pedal, this is going from 0 to 14. And notice here our pedal position, that's the electronic pedal that we put our foot on in the vehicle here. This is showing the actual pedal position. So a value of 0, which we place into the table, would be a lookup pedal position of 5. A value of 14 is 100. So we can see what that looks like. And this is for our upshift scheduling. If we go here, there's our downshift pedal. This is going to have the same 0 to 14, but the scaling here will be different, meaning we'll have a different pedal position at a given lookup number. And that's all relative to the tables that we're dealing with here. Let's go ahead and close this out. Bumping back in here to our base table. This is going to take a look at here, the pedal position as we just discussed, using our two lookup maps. And then it's also going to be taking a look at our upshift schedule and our downshift schedule. Now looking at this, the 1 to 2 is our shifting from 1st to 2nd. 2nd to 3rd, 3rd to 4th, 4th to 5th, 5th to 6th. Then, if we want to go having a downshift schedule, this would be 6th to 5th, 5th to 4th, 4th to 3rd, 3rd to 2nd, 2nd to 1st. So it has to meet these conditions in order to initiate the gear shift. Now about this, taking a look at the values in the table, we can see that there's some low value numbers here, all the way out to what looks like it could be the actual engine speed. 
Now we want to command things based on engine speed. That's a little bit easier for us to understand, but that's not the way Ford has chosen to set up this table. They've chosen to set the table up based on output shaft speed of our actual transmission. And that's where things definitely get a little bit confusing here. It is engine or RPM, not engine RPM, but it's RPM related. As we can see, that's the unit scale here, but this is output shaft speed. So when we're trying to edit this table, we have to be careful about how we're actually editing it. And it's a little bit easier if we use a translation calculator so we can keep track of what the output shaft speed is going to be relative to the gear ratio relative to engine speed. And that's what I've created in our Excel spreadsheet so we can just make sense of what's going on with these program values. Let's jump into our Excel spreadsheet. This is from our course folder. You can download this. Now, if you've downloaded the course packet in the course folder already, this has been added. This is a new update for these tutorials. So you'll have to re-download it again. Now, taking a look at our very last page here called OSS Tuning. This is our output shaft speed. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.